And now what I'm fascinated by for you specifically is you guys have lasted so long in a place like Indranagar, which is a neighborhood here in Bangalore for the listeners, not from India or not from Bangalore, that literally bars and restaurants start and like open and shut every day. It seems. Yeah. What's the secret sauce to surviving in this industry where turnover is so high and failure is so high? There's no, I mean, there's, there's a general assumption that restaurants and bars uh, will not last long. Mm -hmm. There's a, uh, because the data will show that they don't. Worldwide, Bangalore specific? Worldwide. Okay. Right. And uh, fundamentally, it's business. It's if, if you can do most things better than most people, you'll continue to do well. Okay. Uh, just like any other business. Sure. Um, but restaurants is the one of the things that restaurants attract, new restaurants attract, is uh, they attract people uh, with the offering of something new. Uh, mm -hmm. it, it may not be a great product. It may not be something of value. But uh, it's it's just something new. And that's where you see them. Once that newness is gone, what happens? Okay. So, which is why you see a lot of restaurants open and shut quickly. Um, as I said, it's it's coming back to, I think, the reason why we, are, we continue to do well is because we do most things better than most people. Mm -hmm. you know? But, you know, the, the crazy thing here is, I want to ask you a difficult question. And before I do, if you could just put that on the top of your thing, the wind guard, I forgot to give you that. Yeah. Sorry. Now you're breathing. Now, now you'll have that sexy Howard Stern voice like, hello, hello. Yes. Okay. Um, <laughs> all right. Okay. So, um, for example, I, I draw a lot of analogies to what you guys are doing to kind of the comedy world, specifically meaning a lot of us, when we started, were first in comedy, right? We were the first ones to do comedy shows for 10 people, 100 people, you know, do a big show, Virdas, plan something. We were all part of it. Russell Peters came. We got to sell tickets and do that sort of stuff. So we were like the first movers. And then we became known for that. Our videos ended up doing well because we were, they were the only ones out there. I always, I, I look at the comedy scene now and I'm like, if I had to start here now, I don't think I would have the profile that I have at this point. Um, one question for the hot seat. Do you think if Toit started today with all the other breweries, and maybe you guys are responsible for having the 60 breweries in the ecosystem, but if you had to get started in today, do you think you'd have the same success? I think we do well. Um, I, we may not have, uh, maybe we, we would have found it harder to be the brand we are today hmm, because I, you have that reputation. I, yeah. I think, um, uh, our goal was to really, uh, be something like a Koshi's or an, or an MTR and be an integral part of the city. Yeah. You know, that, that's, that was the dream. Uh, we're a long way from it, uh, but we, we've, we've taken the right steps. Um, and for something like that to happen, it's not just, you know, hard work and uh, clever business strategy. You have to be at the right place at the right time. Mm -hmm. And that is a bit of luck. You've not planned it. You cannot plan it. Uh, you, you, you just do it and you, you just happen to be at the right place at the right time. Yeah. And today, I don't know if it may, it may still happen. We might, we might, uh, you know, there are 60 microbreweries, but how many of them make great beer sure so it it's you can still come in today you know make good beer and stand out so it's still there you can you can do well but whether we could have captured that kind of uh, brand perception in people in bangalore uh, the way we did 10 years ago uh, i i don't think so because it was simpler times then